Hi, Moguls. I'm Jane Brzezinski. I'm Aaron Armour. And I'm Lauren Nitsky. And we're from Catholic Memorial High School. How many of you have seen something like this flying in the air before? Oh, yes. This is a drone, and it poses a serious threat to any pedestrians walking underneath it. Imagine you're walking down the sidewalk, and you see one of those falling from 400 feet right on top of you. That is not a pretty sight. The drone market is skyrocketing. The FAA predicts that by 2023, the drone market will triple. That poses a serious threat, as hundreds of thousands of new drones are taking flight, hundreds more will be hitting the ground, and not lightly. Our product is the Drone Shoot, a safety system for commercial and industrial drones. Are there a lot of companies in the drone business? Big companies like Amazon, UPS, FedEx, they're all trying to deliver with drones, but the FAA is holding them back because they are not allowed to fly over people. But with our product, we comply with the FAA and allow our drones to be flown over the public. So how did you three young gentlemen come up with the technology and the innovation? Our company originated from past experience of mine when my company, InFlight Drone, was hired to film a bike race. As we were filming this bike race over a large crowd of people, our drone lost all GPS connection and fell straight down, almost hitting a biker, which could have caused serious damage. Our drone parachute and airbag system is designed to make the drone fall at slow as possible and the airbag on the bottom to make it hit the ground softly and not to injure anybody below it. So for attaching the parachute, we're gonna attach the parachute, which is the box right there, to the bottom of the parachute, because when a drone flips, it flips upside down, and then we have an airbag system on the top of the drone to better protect the drone and the camera to save it. I would assume that you'd be one of the early adopters with the product for the solution. Are you one of the first? Uh, yes. companies to introduce this type of product? So there is currently a few other products in this area, but we are the first to put the parachute system on the bottom side of the drone. Most companies, there's only a few out there that put the parachute on the top of the drone, which poses a serious risk because A, it's not compatible, and B, if those lines get tangled in these blades, it could cut the strings and just fall straight down. But with us, we protect the most value, valuable part of the drone, which is this gimbal part right here, which costs well over $1,000 on this specific drone and the body only costs 200. So with this gimbal being the most protected as it's facing up while going down, it'll save a lot of money if it were to crash. And also with the airbag located on the top, that's what differentiates us from the rest of the other products out there. Because A, it's what makes us compliable with the FAA. Because with that airbag system, it, it wraps around the propellers, which then makes all the exposing blades like not exposed. So if it's falling, it will not slice someone as it's falling. Do you own the technology on this? Yes, we are currently in the process of filing a patent. So how this works is we have a, a geoscopic sensor. So once the drone, once the sensor detects that a drone flipped over, because when a drone crashes in the air, like loses connection, it'll just, all the blades will turn off and it'll lose complete signal and it'll just turn off in the air. So when that happens, it is top heavy, which means the drone is gonna tip over. We're just gonna send off that geoscopic sensor we're just gonna release these hatches, which is gonna fire a springboard with a parachute on it and inflate the airbag. Awesome. It's a really interesting concept and thank, thank you, you thank so much you. for showing thank it to so us. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so guys thank you. very much. Have a good one. Thank you, you too. I think it's an excellent concept, especially because you have a lot of novice that really wanna fly drones and, and mm -hmm. many times I think the issue of them dropping and falling is, is, right. is huge. And so just to be able to have that, that you can tag onto it to make it safer, I think is, is great. Timeliness, I mean, I, I think it's overdue. I'm fascinated yeah. that the producers would put something out there that could potentially be that dangerous mm -hmm. and not have anything to stop it or slow it down. I remember being at a parade on July 4th and seeing one flying ahead and of course how my mind works, I'm like, <laughs> that sucker comes fl flying down, somebody's going to get hurt. So it seems to me blink just obvious. Mm -hmm. And it took uh, three high school juniors from yeah. Wisconsin, from Wisconsin to, to say, hey, figure it out. Yeah. 